I'm at Sugawa Nursery in Woodland, Washington with Brian. And Brian, you've got a great idea for container veggie gardens. That's right. For anyone that does gardening uh, in the backyard or in the patio, they need to think of containers or some kind of way to contain the plants. You know, it's pretty simple. you got a little bit of the, the eggplants, the bok choys, uh, whatever you want to probably put in there. You know, there's a, a pretty wide selection of a lot of you know, actually doing a lot better on Asian vegetables becoming more more available now. And that's so cool because you have actually a whole hand about Asian vegetables because a lot of independent garden centers don't carry that many varieties. Well, that's right. You know, it's fun to grow them, but uh, there's so many different ways to, of course, cook them. And, you know, some of my favorites are the soups. And, uh, oh, you can just... Uh, it's endless what you can do with all of the harvest here. And you know, speaking of soup, this is a mustard green, but it's purple. So it's really ornamental in the garden. Plus it's great. Mustards are really delicious. I think so. Just for the foliage on that, that's kind of re reminds me of the ornamental kales and cabbages that are available in the fall. But yeah, that's a very attractive foliage on that. And bok choy, again, you have a purple bok choy and the green bok choy. So that's just really interesting for stir fries. Y exactly. I think uh, color in the garden as long as well on the, the plate and bowls is always uh, just adds that much more flavor you know into the whether you're eating it or looking at it so uh, so what kind of soil would we need for a container do we have to get something really special yeah I think um, you know they, they of course vegetables being uh, they require a lot of nutrients I think again your basic uh, 101 of soils is just keep the you know Keep it well watered, well drained, along with uh, plenty of nutrients. You know, mm -hmm. is you pretty important. Well, we uh, we still like the Dr. Earth. Uh, this is a vegetable one that's available now. And uh, what's nice is it's just uh, an application. Pretty much will get it off to a good start. Okay. You know, and that's what it's all about: getting them a good start, and you'll finish very nice. And you know, I like that this verticality of this one. And what do you have growing in this container? This one is well. It's you can do whatever you'd like to do, obviously. But cucumbers, you know, when you're trying to get a nice straight, uh, a long straight cucumber mm -hmm. or bean or whatever it is, vertical gardening is easily the the best way to do it. Whether it be a little teepee effect or a, a A-frame, trout, whatever you want to do. But uh, vertical gardening is the easiest way to get your straight the straightness on uh, things that like to become either uh, crooked, contorted, curled. Sure. Or whatever. Sure, it yeah. just looks much more better presentation. Yeah, exactly. Well, I know that you have a lot of information here at the store. You have handouts and also on the website, kind of tune in there because there's events coming up. That's right. There's a, we're actually going to have a seminar of, involving with the, the, the Asian vegetables, how to cook them, how to grow them. And uh, yes, it's all on the, available on the website, so right. stay tuned to that. Well, thank you so much. If yes. you have any questions, please come out to Sagawa's in Woodland, Washington and look at their Asian vegetables. It's really a great selection. Thank you so much. Thanks, Judy. Thank you.